We feel like we really connected with an audience and they really understood our hearts and what we're about, then I thought that I think that's a great show right there. People don't remember songs per se, they remember moments. And if you can create moments with them, um, that's that's when you walk away saying that was really great. When we do something that's not normal, because we do play hundreds of shows, it's nice when something unscripted happens. And it just kind of wakes everybody up a little bit. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and everything else will be added. Because when you go out and do ministry, um, you know, you're really stepping out and doing something maybe not as profitable as something that you might choose as a career. But uh, I'm just always reminded, you know, that when we, when we step out and seek to do ministry and, and go out and try to make the Lord's name famous and spread the gospel with people and His kingdom, that, that He's going to provide for you. And it's almost like He's saying, because I've taken care of you, I promise to provide for you. You are free to seek the kingdom of heaven. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and everything else will be added on. If you forget why you're doing this, and you get caught up in the industry with the financial side, with, with trying to seek success in the world's terms, you can feel defeated really quickly. You can feel that, hey, I, I, it's tough, it's hard on the road. But I remember that this is more than just about making cool music and playing concerts in front of people. It's about furthering uh, the kingdom of Christ. And when I do that, a lot of the other worries that can come up in our lives go away. And be like, okay, I'm doing this for a certain reason. I'm seeking Christ first. And everything else works itself out. Superpower that I would choose? Flying, because um, I'm tired of airports and security, and I would just love to get somewhere as soon as possible. And I've had lots of dreams where I've flown, and it's been awesome. It's the best thing I've experienced. I think flying would be super cool. I mean, who doesn't want to fly? You can go anywhere you want. I, mean, I could be in Australia in a couple hours. I'd like to fly. Because, I don't know, I've always had dreams I could fly. It would be pretty awesome to fly. Can you think of anything better than flying? I can't. I really can't. I think it would be awesome. Think about how fast you could get places, and how fun it would be, first of all, and how cool you'd be if you could fly. I want to fly. Chris Tucker from the Rush Hour movies, obviously. Claire Danes, because I think I, of anyone in Hollywood, maybe resemble her the most. Not a ton, but... Because they Jackie Chan, I mean, that's too obvious. Maybe like Brad Pitt or somebody like that, because, you know, or, or Bruce Lee. What Asian actors? You name an Asian actor right now, off the top of your head, besides Jackie Chan. Maybe like Whoopi Goldberg, because she's awesome. I like her. Yeah. Sign me up for Whoopi Goldberg. Every single year, I look forward to 
festival season. I look forward to traveling. I love visiting new places, um, experiencing the Lord in different different seasons of life. Christmas. Christmas is the birth of Christ. I'm not sure if you knew this. It's when we celebrate the the birth of our Savior, and it's on December 24th or 25th. I'm not sure, but. It's a, it's a time where we get together, we exchange gifts, presents, and there's a tree involved, so.